let's take a look at how to use the ImageJ program to measure image density. And this can be used as sort of a rough equivalent of using a spectrophotometer if you have photographs of different samples. In this case, I've opened the ImageJ program and I've used the file open menu to open an image file, in this case a file called graceswatches.jpg. What you want to do to measure different color samples is to use the rectangle tool. You can also use the oval tool or other selection tools. Click and drag to make a sample of a particular size that will be a size that you can identify or find in each of the different samples you're going to measure. Then from the Analyze measure, menu, choose Measure, Command-M on the Apple operating systems. And what that will do is open a results window that gives you different statistics about the information inside that rectangle that you drew. The area in pixels, the mean, minimum, and maximum brightness. In this case, white is an menu me, um, measurement of 255 black is zero so brightness is measured on a scale from zero to 255. what we're interested in here is the integrated density that's sort of the average color of the square not focusing on an individual pixel but in general based on the area of the square and the density of all of the pixels inside that square so now we've measured one sample. Instead of drawing a new shape or rectangle in the adjacent samples, it's best if you hover the mouse over your original rectangle until it becomes the pointer. You don't want a hand. That would let you stretch or resize. When you get the black arrow, you can drag that same shape into a different sample. Command M or analyze measure again. And that adds a second measurement to the results window. So then we move it a third time, measure, fourth time, measure, and one more time in this example, and measure. And now we have a results window that contains the integrated density values of, in this case, what was white, light gray, medium gray, dark gray, and black. And you can plot these integrated density values in a manner that's equivalent to plotting the spectrophotometer readings that you might use if you were in the laboratory. In other words, an image that's pure black would have no light transmission or zero light transmission. And in this case, a clear sample, what we would see as white in this example, has maximum transmission of, in this case, 271,320. So you can use the integrated density values of the measurements taken using, using ImageJ as a sort of equivalent method for spectrophotometry.